Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will introduce you something really cool. This is IPO IW2. Um, it turns any flat surface into a smart board with the help of sensor cam. So look at this. Super cool, right? Let's get started. IPO IW2 is not something new, you probably heard that before, you probably saw it before, but uh, I know a lot of people, they are not familiar with this technology. As always, let's start with a quick unboxing first, and then I will go to classroom and show you guys um, everything there. This is the box for IPO IW2, um, interactive whiteboard system. And here's the pen, um, interactive pen with a conical hemisphere shaped tip. It is removable, replaceable. This is the IPO button. It has mouse right and left click functions. Um, there's an on off button here. This is the sensor power button. And the pen requires two AAA batteries. And you will like this one guys. The wireless receiver is placed at the top. Um, it's right here. Great. We have a sensor cam um, here with a metal base. The lens reads signals and send them to the receiver. At the back there is a pairing button power on off and micro USB port for the power and this hole is for the mount by the way here's the micro USB power cord um, pretty long one we have a USB plug adapter here these are the mounts the left one is for tripods and the right one is uh, for projectors this is the wrist strap we have some anchors here in the package and I'm not gonna use those there are two AAA batteries for the pen there's an extra tip for the pen it is good and the manual by the way, you need a projector, guys, for this thing to work. Um, now, let's go to my classroom and set up the device. Let's place the batteries first. Yes, turn on the pen and now it lights up when you press the tip. I'm going to use only these three things, by the way, to turn my whiteboard into a smart board. I don't need other, uh, other stuff. Let's connect the USB receiver now. Now, I will connect these two my projector has a USB-A port and it generates enough power for the sensor cam so I'm not going to use the power brick. But if you don't have the port, you need to use the power brick um, to generate power. The other end of the cord goes to the sensor cam and let's place it here. You don't need to place it to the top of your projector by the way, it is just what I want to do. Um, yeah, it is signaling um, orange right now because we haven't downloaded the driver to connect this. Let's do it now. The driver link is in the description below guys. Just choose the operating system you need and then download it. It's a quick download, quick installation. By the way, the software does not start automatically. Um, you need to start it manually. And here it is. Let's open it. Yes. I will also download IPO annotator software. Um, you don't have to do that, but it's quite useful um, with um, IW2. Um, it lets you annotate things everywhere on your screen. Let's also install this. Okay, we are ready. It is time to connect sensor cam. It's red, in sleeping mode right now, and you need to press the sensor button. And it received the signal. Um, you see, it turned into green, and it is connected. Now it's time to complete the last step, calibration. Um, click the calibrate option you see on the right bottom corner, then click start. After the countdown, press the spacebar to continue. The main idea is at first placing the sensor cam in the right position so the tip needs to be in the middle of the center um, circle when you touch to the center. And you see here it is not in the right position, it's way below. We need to move the sensor cam right, left, up or down until we get the exact location. It's better if you just do this step with two people. Um, I had to do it alone and it's hard like that. Okay, I finally did that guys. I'm happy with the outcome, so I just press the spacebar and calibrate the corners. It is super easy for the corners, only the center part takes time. Yes, it is complete guys. My whiteboard turned into a smart board now and you see, it works. Wonderful. And let's see how I use in the class. I am annotating on a PDF file by using the interactive pen and you see guys, it's easy to use, um, easy to navigate and easy to write. It's hard to get used to it first because it's bigger. It's much bigger than board markers, right? The size is bigger, but it takes a little bit time to get used to. Now I am using IPO Annotator, a free software which helps you annotate on anything. And I'm working on this Desmos graph right now. 
And you see guys, I can annotate just like that by using the tools IP1 annotator offers. And look at this guys, using this thing, interactive pen in my vectors course was kind of cool. What do you think? It's amazing, right? Before I complete my review, I am sending special thanks to my son who showed me how IW2 works. Thanks buddy! And one more thing, this is IPVO's Facebook page, they also do giveaways here. You can like their page and follow um, to see their future posts and giveaways. They also shared my latest video, let's give a like to this post. Ok, let's finish the review now. Ok, IPVO IW2, I like the device, it is easy to set up, easy to use and uh, super accurate. It is much cheaper than smart board, so if you need a smart board but cannot afford one, um, you can try IPVO IW2. And I like the way they hide the USB receiver here guys, it is right here on top of the pen and you can just hide it here after you use it and you don't lose it. It is genius. The pen is bigger, larger than board markers, that's why it is hard to get used to it, it takes time. And also uh, the tip of the pen is not a needle tip, so it is like um, conical, it's like a hemisphere. That's why you can, it's, it's hard to work on details. So this is the only thing I don't like about IW2. Yep, that's it for today. Um, if you have any questions, as always, just leave a comment below and I will answer your questions as early as possible. I'll be with you in another video about online teaching. Keep watching mathematics. Goodbye.